And I listened to this, <laughs> ironically, I think, uh, I think I was in the emergency room the second time when I was told about like more Brianna Wu leaks. And so I went to his VOD with this and I listened to it on two times speed. So maybe, maybe there's something crazy in here, but like, I, I have no hate for Oliver slash the Omni on Twitter. I have no hate for that guy. He's pretty chill, or at least me and him have been like pretty chill ever since I've ever interacted with him. Um, I don't know what the f they were fighting about, but like, let's see this 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 one right here, right? We've been friends with each other for a long time. Don't call trans women men, and we're cool. But start some public with me, and we're gonna get into some gangster. Sh Can someone please, for the love of God, explain to me? Why every every single one of these losers, all right, who I'm sorry, constantly tell people to KYS, who constantly like, you know, when they're not being monitored are totally fine with saying slurs and they have no problems with any of that. And I know this for a fact. OK, can someone please, for the love of God, tell me why. A, a, a string of messages with a little emoji right here, LOL, boomer, boomer core right here, and then the gangster sh thing, and everyone's acting like Oliver was victimized and that Brianna Wu was threatening him. It, it's just like the most like deranged, like if she did some like crazy, horrible, like she like, you know, murdered a bunch of puppies a long time ago by tying them up in a bag and then throwing them into a river like bro that's one thing all right go and hate on her all you want but like me dude i i just haven't seen anything that's warranting so many videos and streams and it wasn't a bag it was a pillowcase oh well that makes it totally fine then their morals are conditional until they don't like you moral treats Right, but I, even then, like, it's like the only reason that the lefties don't like her because she's, um, like, become disillusioned with the progressive movement. It, like, that's that's the lefties. The conservatives probably just hate her because she's a Democrat and trans. And then these commentary people who are essentially like political nihilists like why would they care one way or another like i know everyone in spicy chat has a massive big take on brianna Wu, and i've read through the conversations and i've asked questions and just never ever have i found a goddamn thing that i'm personally like yeah, I guess like maybe that's like a little bit cringe. It feels a little boomer core maybe, but like at the end of the day, is this like something I'm super concerned about? I'm not really. Oh, she didn't do as much as she said she did during Gamergate. Hmm. Okay. You know, I, I've, I've said the same thing like 40 times over the past couple of months, but like, I, I really do feel like I'm aging out, even though half of these, are older than I am, but like, I, I feel like I'm aging out of this space because I'm trying to like, sometimes I'll try and find content and I'll watch another person stream like, oh, maybe they're covering something that's interesting or maybe, uh, you know, maybe they're covering something interesting or something that's funny or something like that. And bro, it's just like, I don't, I can't, I can't force myself to care. I can't even force myself to care. And that's crazy for me because I'm an autistic on the internet. All I can do is look at cringe. Well, welcome. For people that are new, if you're watching on YouTube or if you're watching on Kick, uh, I'm Sansol. I, I am a political science student. I like to talk about politics. I like to argue about politics. We talk about all sorts of fun things on here like drama and politics. And I like to argue with people and chat about a lot of different things. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't like to shill all.